Now, the Bnaha for Regional Manager of the Food and Drugs Authority, Matthew Jan Inkum, has advised butchers to adhere to proper handling of meat to prevent contamination. He was worried about metal poisoning and other related diseases. The state of the Sunyane Abattoir is threatening the health of consumers. The entire premises of the abattoir deserves immediate renovation to make the slaughterhouse wholesome. The manager, FDA, Matthew Jan Inkum, has cautioned workers of the Sunyane abattoir to handle the meat neatly whilst rehabilitation is still in progress. This, according to him, can help eliminate all associated consequences, including metal poisoning and diseases like leptospirosis, cholera, typhoid and cancer, among others. He said as they are educating the butchers on proper handling of the meat, sanctions will be meted out to individuals who flout them. He said that as they are educating the butchers on proper handling of the meat, sanctions will also be meted out to individuals who flout them. Yeah, we've been through a lot of slaughterhouses in the region. You see that the processes that the meat go through in these facilities are not good uh, for human or animal consumption. For me, I think we have to bring the stakeholders together, educate ourselves, see how best we can work together as a team so that we will help educate the butchers, educate whoever is engaging in any activity in that facility so that at the end of the day, the meat that comes onto the market will be safe for human and animal consumption. The chief butcher of the Sunyane Abattoir, Gasu Abdullahi, says they pay a revenue of 1,200 Ghana cities each month to the Sunyane Municipal Assembly, but they are yet to realize the benefits. Gasu Abdullahi admitted their slaughterhouse is full of challenges. 